Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about timers. So let's go ahead and create a new project. We'll go ahead and select Windows Forms application and we will set the name to timers. So let's go ahead and we will make the form a little bit smaller. We will add a list box and two buttons. So here's our list box. We've got button one and button two. So we'll just make this a little bit bigger. And now what we need to do is set the text of button one to start and the text of button two to stop. We'll go ahead and come over here to start and we'll set the name to button start. And then for stop, we're going to need button stop. Okay, so let's come over here to our toolbox and we will scroll down and let's find the timer. So if you drop down your components um, submenu right here, you're going to go ahead and see the timer right here. So just like any of the dialogues, you don't need to drag it out onto your form because you cannot actually see it. So we'll just double click on timer and you can see it has been added to our form. So let's go ahead and click on timer, come over here to the lightning bolt and we'll just double click on tick. So what the tick does is it's every time the timer ticks and you can set the properties of this and set the interval. So this is milliseconds. So 100 milliseconds is a tenth of a second. Let's just set our interval to 5,000 milliseconds, which is 5 seconds. So every time the timer ticks, let's go ahead and add a number to the, to the list box. So we'll go ahead and do private um, number as integer, and we'll set it equal to 0. So whenever it ticks, we'll, we will add it to the list box. So listbox one dot items dot add and we will add number and let's go ahead and just add one to number. So it's going to add it to the list box and then increment it by one. Now five seconds is going to take a pretty long time. So let's just go ahead and shrink this down to uh, one second. So we've got one second, uh, 1000 milliseconds. Now we'll double click on the button start click and whenever they click start we want to go ahead and start the timer so we'll just type timer one dot start so it's going to start ticking the timer and whenever they click stop let's go ahead and stop the timer so timer one dot stop so let's go ahead and run this and if we click start we wait a second and zero shows up one two three and this is happening at intervals of one second now if we did all of this at once and added them all at the same time, it would be almost instantaneous. But since we are pausing, well not really pausing, we're using a timer and every time that ticks we're adding. So let's go ahead and change the interval and we can see the change in time. So let's change it to 5000 milliseconds. We'll go ahead and click start. And you can see we wait 5 seconds and zero shows up and if we wait another five seconds the one's gonna show up so go ahead and uh, practice with timers they are very useful you put the code that you want to run in during each tick and then you can have um, certain actions start and stop your timer so go ahead and practice with those and once you got those down go ahead and move on to the next tutorial